Welcome back to Techify Software YouTube channel. So today we're going to talk about SDLC, Software Development Life Cycle. It's not a new concept, and it's already very familiar to those who work in software development. SDLC refers to a methodology with well-defined processes for creating high-quality software. So, what exactly is SDLC? Today I want to talk about SDLC, the common models and the skills needed to work well with models. The software development life cycle, uh, we can call it ADLC, is a framework that develop teams use to produce high quality software in a systematic and cost effective way. Both large and small software organizations use the SDLC methodology. The teams follow development models ranging from Agile to Lean to Waterfall and others. SDLC provides an overview of a software project's entire system. Resources, timeline, and goals. Software developers understand why and what they should do. The following are the primary reason why SDLC is required when developing a software system. Firstly, it improves project control and monitoring for critical or complex projects. Secondly, the model design reviews to help uh, to ensure that the developer solution is reliable and high quality. Thirdly, SDLC ensures that customers receive accurate and timely software. And the last thing, increase the speed of software development. So, those are the main benefits that you can get when using the SDLC model for your business. Well, many people think there's 5 steps in SDLC model, but the exact number is 7 steps. First, requirement. Second, analysis. Third is design. Fourth, programming. The fifth is testing. The sixth, deployment. And the seventh, maintenance. First, I want to talk about requirement phase. During this phase, the requirements analysis department will meet uh, customers to discuss and clarify the functions and requirements that they want to include in their software. In fact, at this point, software units will have the set of common projects, questions as well as specific and project questions to answer. In analysis phase, will be carried out after the customer's requests have been recorded, and the analysis department will clarify the actualized and requirements with an SRS, SRS document called specification document. This document is critical to the software development process because it contains all of the product requirements that were designed and developed throughout the project's life cycle. Next stage is design phase. The design department will create the public interface while programming department will create the detailed interface for each software function. Well, in the other words, it will convert the task of as described in the description document into a prototype software function interface. Then, discussing and agree on the interface and lay out the customer. When the customer approves the software design based on the prototype, it will proceed to a next stage. If not, comments and corrections will be made until the customer is satisfied with the software prototype. In programming phase, SDLC begins actual development. This phase implements the software's functions until the customer has approved the prototype. The programmers will code the functional handling and required models uh, will be assigned. And the functions will be tested according to the test case built based on the specification document. Stage 5 is testing. It is where the development team tests the software errors and deficiencies. Does the software produce the right result? Does it fulfill the requirements and objective initially outlined in the SDLC? These are examples for key questions that could be asked during the testing phase. Some teams 
may test the software manually or use automated testing tools, whichever route they decide to pursue. The testing process will ensure each unit of the software works well. After undergoing testing, the software should enter a QA process to validate and project quality. Next stage is deployment. Once the software has undergone testing and QA, it is delivered to the customer. This stage usually involves deployment engineers who make software available to customers. They may install the software at a company and help individual customers run the application on their computers. These customer issues are solved in this maintenance stage because the software product uses varies from customer to customer. There may be unique issues that come up and need to be addressed. To help mitigate the amount of maintenance that needs to be done, uh, teams may choose the first release the product to a smaller population of customers. This can offer insight into how the product is performing and the development teams can make any last adjustment prior to its final release. There are some SDLC models. Let's check. First, waterfall model. The waterfall is a cascade SDLC model that presents the development process like the flow, moving step by step through the phase uh, of analysis, projecting, realization, testing, implementation, and support. This SDLC model includes the gradual execution of every stage. Waterfall implies strict documentation. The features expected the each phase of SDLC model is predefined in advance. Second, it is spiral model. It is a combination of iterative and waterfall SDLC models with a significant accent on the risk analysis. The main issue of the spiral model is defining and right moment to take a step into next stage. The preliminary set timeframes are recommended as the solution to this issue. The shift to the next stage is done according to the plan, even if the work on the previous step isn't done yet. Well, next I want to talk about Agile model, one of the most famous SDLC model ever. The Agile methodology favors rapid and continuous release cycles using small but incremental changes between releases. This leads to more interactions and more testing than with other models. Theoretically, this model helps teams deal with minor problems as they arise rather than leaving them out until more complex phases of a project. The limitation of this model is that too much focus on customer interaction that can lead the project in the wrong direction in some cases. The last but not least, Scrum. Scrum is a framework about the process and management that helps solve complex problems but still ensure efficiency, creativity, and products created to achieve the highest value. Scrum itself is a framework. With Scrum, the product is built on a repeatable series of rules called a sprint. Sprints take place regularly. Each sprint is an opportunity to learn and adjust to achieve the best fit and result. Well, that's all the basic information about SDLC model. If you want to know more, subscribe our YouTube channel, Typify Software. So, see ya!